okay hi virgo welcome back to my channel guys if you're new here welcome and if you are returning thanks so much for supporting the channel so i'm going to go ahead and do the bonus reading for my virgos that are dealing with a fire sign as you guys as usual got the most views and thumbs up okay now this is a general message it may not resonate with everyone so take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest okay anybody interested in a personal reading my information is always down below thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe so for my Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius spirit, what is the energy here? I do hope that everybody is well. Ooh. All right, give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Now Virgos, the energy that I put up could be your energy or it could be the fire sign's energy. Cross watcher, if you are in here and you're dealing with a Virgo, feel free to fit the roles, okay? So... What is the mood around this situation, Spirit? Give me two cards. A card for now and a card for going forward. And going forward. Thank you. So the first card I'm seeing coming out here, it says, I can and I will. And it says, brave. The affirmation says, I am brave. I am strong. I am fearless. I am my own hero. So I don't know if that's the energy that you are in, Virgos, or this is the energy that this fire sees you in. Okay. Now, it could be that this fire sign also may be trying to find the courage here for something. Now, going forward, it says, on guard, it says, wary. It says, I learn from experiences to make the right choices for myself. I trust my intuition to guide me. All will be well. Now, for some of you, you may have this fire sign that is maybe wanting to come towards you. And you may be in this energy, you know, in the terms of, uh, okay, yes, what do you want? How can I help you? What do they want, right? Because it says, from my experiences. So you could have gone through something with this fire sign where you're kind of like, you know what, I learned my lesson with you. Uh, I don't know why you're over here. I don't know what it is that you want, okay? But, um, you know, I thought we had kind of gone our separate ways kind of energy. Now, for some of you, they may be coming towards you to offer you something. And maybe you're going to be put in a, a situation where it's kind of like the two of pentacles here, needing to make a choice. But show me more about this brave energy. For my Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign. What is this? Show me. Oh, the devil. Okay, show me more. Oh, the two of cups in the reverse. My Virgo's down with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. Page of Pentacles. And there we look at that. The Emperor. Aries energy. Clarify this devil. And we, we have the Emperors at the bottom of the deck. What is the devil and the Page of Coins? The Seven of Pentacles is wanting to show its face. Okay. Um, so those together make the eight of pentacles. Now the devil is a very toxic energy. It can also talk about obsession here. Now it could be that this person may be overthinking about some sort of practical decisions that they made here. Now it could also be that they may be, you know, obsessing on how to offer you something. Like I said, you may be on guard when this person reaches out to you or when they approach you. Clarify this seven of pentacles. Because this almost makes me feel like this person trying to put some sort of plan into place. Seven of pentacles. Why is it here? The sun in the reverse. So for some of you, I don't know if this person is unhappy here. Spirit, clarify. Seven of Pentacles and the Sun in the reverse. Oh, 
Eight of Cups and the World card. So for some of you, it almost feels like this person isn't, like I said, they ain't happy about maybe some sort of choices that they made here. Maybe this person was very much um, vibrating from a very low vibrational um, place. Or maybe they're in that energy now, right? Um, like I said, it definitely feels like there, there's not there's no happiness there. Um, it could also talk about something being revealed about this person as well. But we have the Two of Cups in the reverse and the Emperor. So I don't know if some of my Virgos, if you kind of took some sort of charge here and you took control of your life um, and, and removed yourself from the situation, Eight of Cups and the World card. Eight of Cups or the Two of Cups is the Ten of Cups. So again, you know, someone's not happy. Now, if they are already in a relationship with someone else, I don't feel like they're happy there. They may want to leave a situation. But clarify this... Um, Mm. Okay, clarify the Two of Cups and the Emperor. Ten of Swords. Ooh, there was some betrayal here. Maybe this person is... um. Was the Two of Cups and the Emperor? The Seven of Swords. Yeah, there, there was definitely some betrayal here, some deception here. Somebody trying to get away with something. So again, you know, be very careful here, Virgos. I have you at the bottom of the deck and the star card, especially if you guys have already healed yourself from this situation. You know, just be careful that this isn't someone that wants to come in and betray you. But maybe you already left this situation because of the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Queen of Wands. One more. Coming out sideways is the Four of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Moon card. Yeah, for some of you, I don't know if this is someone who's trying to creep away from someone. Like I said, if they're already in a situation, maybe it's a loveless situation. Maybe this person just doesn't want to be there anymore. Maybe they don't feel the same. Maybe they're just too obsessed about thinking about you. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, clarify the Seven of Swords and this Queen of Wands. For some of you, this is going to be a feminine energy. Um, that maybe tried to do something here. What is the Seven of Swords and Queen of Wands? The Five of Cups. Somebody crying over spilt milk. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, this person is in another relationship with someone that, or in a, in a, somewhere where they don't want to be here. Um, the Five of Cups. If you can see, you you will see that there's three cups here that's fallen in front of this person, right? So whether this person put you in a third party situation, whether they chose somebody over you, or whether they're just kind of bored with the option that they have now. And if you see here, you have the two cups that are standing. For some of you, like I said, they may have refused you in the past, right? But they are regretting that decision for some of you. But this brave energy could be, you know, them wanting to come towards you here. Where's the five of cups? Six of coins. Oh, this person could also be struggling financially. What is a six of coins? Mm, the eight of coins. I see the king of cups in the reverse, the chariot in the reverse, the three of cups in the reverse, the tower and the ace of pentacles. They definitely could be struggling financially, um, even if they are in another relationship here. You know, this could be someone who wants to balance out the scales, or like I said, they may need financial help. Or they just see that you're in a um, better financial situation than they are. And they're kind of reflecting, you know, like I said, hey, they may feel like they made the wrong choice. But, you know, if they're kind of watching you for your stability here, Virgos, you know, definitely, you know, that wouldn't be a good reason to come towards you, right? It would tell me that for some of you, maybe you're dealing with an opportunist. This could be someone who is obsessed with having some sort of power. It's obsessed with being some sort of leader. What is the weary energy? For my Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign. Why do my Virgos need to be on guard? Or why will they be in that energy spirit? Show me. 
So we have the page of wands. So there's that communication here. And there's that knight of swords. Somebody wanting to rush in. Maybe to defend themselves or speak some sort of truth here. Show me more. The page of swords. So there's a lot of page and knight energy out here. Um, show me more. This is someone who may be watching you, spying on you somehow, right? And for some of you, this is someone who sees you as good news. But they may be keeping this secret with that moon card at the bottom of the deck. But yeah, look at that with the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, this is someone who desires to be with you. But I don't know with the world and the Eight of Cups and the Magician. This may have been someone who tried to manipulate a situation. You have the Six of Swords. Wow, this is you moving to calmer waters here. And this may make this person upset that you are moving on here. Yeah, the full card, you're taking a leap of faith and you have your defenses up because some of you have healed yourself from whatever this Ten of Swords energy was. For some of you, this is someone who betrayed you over and over and over again. I don't even know why I'm here. And for some of you, this may even be someone who betrayed you from a distance. What is the Page of Wands and the Page of Swords? The Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, it looks like there's something that is happening really good when it comes to work here. But again, you know, this, I don't know, this Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse. Clarify that Eight of Coins. For some of you, you know, what is this? Yeah, the Ace of Wands, or the, ouch, the Ace of Swords, and we just had the Ace of Coins and the Moon card. Some of you are moving in silence here. Hmm. Got a lot of Aces here, so, you know, it's almost like... Clarify this eight of coins. I don't know what you're building for yourself here, Virgos. The eight of coins. Okay, so we have the four of cups and the magician. So again, for some of you, I don't know if this is someone who tried to affect something that you're trying to build for yourself here. It could just mean that you're in high manifestation energy and you're just kind of not bothered with this person right now. Four of Cups can talk about somebody, you know, it's a missed opportunity. Definitely a missed opportunity for someone. Oh, 13, 13 on the clock. Let me see what it means. It says it is symbolic, 1313 is symbolic of life, abundance, spirituality and creativity. So again, someone here is in strong manifestation energy. You're making things happen for yourself. And it looks like this person is kind of look, sitting back and kind of looking. So even this page of wands could be, you know, Virgos, maybe there's a, a lot of good news that is coming towards you when it comes to something that you do here. Something that you're very skilled at. Something that you have mastered here. Eight of Pentacles. One card. Okay, I'm seeing the Knight of Wands. Yeah, something here may be moving very fast for you. Clarify the Knight of Swords and the Six of Swords. Because that together would make the Seven of Swords, which tells me that, my Virgos, you ain't dealing with anything that is, I want to say anything that isn't um, done the right way right you're not dealing with any lies you're not dealing with any gossip you just don't want to be a part of anything that is negative the star card yeah because you have healed some of you you could even be healers but the star card talks about you know what you're not wasting your time like i said on anything that isn't serving you in fact what it is that you are going towards is your hopes and your dreams and your wishes i'm hearing wish granted Anything else, my brothers, are dealing with a fire sign. Seven of 
Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Wands. So there's two sevens there. So again, you know, I don't know. There was some sort of warning here. The Sevens of Warnings. What is this fire sign's intentions? Thank you, Spirit. Give me three cards. What is their intentions? Oh, okay. So we have the Hierophant coming out here. Show me more. I wanted to land on that Seven of Coins. So I don't know. What is their intentions? Show me. Why is the Hierophant here? Oh, too many cards, Spirit. For some of you, their intentions could be to, they want a relationship here. You know, the Hierophant could even talk about marriage. What is their intentions towards my Virgos? The Knight of Pentacles. Wow, with the lovers. For some of you, they want to be with you. They want to make this offer to you. They want to reconnect. But you have the Knight of um, Coins, which tells me they're very, maybe they're the one that's very wary about coming to bring you this offer unsure of what it is that you would say here because for some of you you do have your defenses up three of wands they may see something from a different perspective now i'm hearing they would when the tables turn so i don't know if maybe something here happened to them okay but for some of you, maybe this person is realizing that you are their wish fulfillment. But they're feeling left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles here. Five of Wands. While you may be having some sort of success. And this could be leaving them in their head here. But they, we all know that the Eight of Swords is, an, is a fear of illusion. Fear of entrapment. Person is very much in their head. I don't know. They may feel stuck or something. All right, what else do we have? Give me three cards. So we have ancient wisdom. Oh, coming out with that hierophant. So again, you know, maybe this person has learned something. Um, maybe they received some sort of wise counsel. Ancient wisdom. Lady with a Bosch egg. You know, or they could see you like that. Someone who knows a lot, see you as some sort of leader, teacher. You have the past returns for a time. Now, you know, I feel like this person is kind of going to want to pop up here. Or like I said, maybe they went back to somebody from their past for a time. I don't know. The past returns for a time. Maybe this person's going to pop up. Maybe you're going to reject them. And maybe that's going to be the end of that again. Okay, we've got two more. So we have the natural world needs you. And we have a tempting offer has a high price. Yeah, maybe some of you are just going to feel like, you know what, this situation is just too risky. You know, like it says, I already learned my lessons from this situation. I already learned my lessons from you. I'm not prepared to repeat anything, even if you are coming back saying that you have changed. Spirit, has this person really changed? Because I do see that devil energy out here. Now, again, you know, if they did something toxic in the past or if they had some addictions or was codependent or something like that, they may be reflecting on that situation. Has this person really changed? For some of my Virgos, obviously I cannot answer it for every single Virgo. The Ace of Swords. Oops. And the bird agrees. The moon card. You know, they may want to come and tell you some sort of truth. They may want to bring some sort of clarity to this situation. Maybe they want to come and tell you something, come and tell you about something that was hidden, something that they lied about, kept secret with the moon card, or it's just representing fear. But there is, I don't really see any negative cards here. So for some of you, I feel like, yeah, they may have. 
What is that? Ace of Coins. What is this? I don't know what they're trying to show me. Give me some cards. My brothers are dealing with a fire sign. We have some good shit is about to happen. It says don't let your issues fuck it up. Maybe they already did that. Yeah, you have Anx, a fucking expert. So again, I don't know if this person got some sort of wise counsel, maybe from someone who is older with some, you know, more experience or whatever. It says, don't rely on your friends or the internet. It says, listen to a damn professional. And look at this. It says, shame, regret and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Forgive. Let that shit go. So yeah, you know, they want forgiveness. Uh, so let's get one from the love and light and end this reading for my Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign. I'm not going to do your advice. I feel like you guys should use your discernment, your intuition about what you want to do with this situation, right? You have free will. Spirit. We have a Virgo. What is the advice? Virgos dealing with look at this, dealing with a fire sign. I don't know, Virgos. <laughs> Coming out sideways though. Um, I don't know if you have this person blocked, or like I said, you're just in that energy where you just don't want to know. But the card coming out says, Give peace a chance. It says, I'm leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So maybe some of those, you just feel like you're just in such a peaceful place. You know, you're just not prepared to um, disturb that peace. Or you're not prepared to let anybody in to come and disturb that peace. So that is what I have for you today, guys. If anything in the reading did resonate with you, do hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, stay safe, love and light, guys.